Hello and welcome to Panic Girl Makes Noise. I prepared a little piece for you today, but before I get to the performance part, I would like to show you my setup a little bit more in depth. So this is my setup. I chose different audio loopers and audio repeaters to be my main voices for this performance. And they all act and interact in their very unique way with each other. So let me explain. My main voice in the case is coming from the STO, which I patched into the algorithm just for some crunchiness. And then it's getting fed into the mimeophone, an audio repeater, audio delay, which is adding its very own character. Let me demonstrate. Beautiful. The STO is getting its melody information from the Rene, by the way. And the Renee is getting its clocks from the Wogglebug and the Yarns module. And I also patched in an envelope, the Quadra, so I can play around with the sound a bit, with the length. My next voice in here in the case is the Morphogene. I loaded in a windmill sound and synced it to the main beat. And layered some additional percussion sounds from the Erika Pico drums and plonk module. The next audio looper I chose is the Coca Quantas over here. I pre-recorded some vocal bits via this mic in and this is an 8-bit sampler looper which adds this crunchy 8-bit sound. And I added also some uh, reverb and delay from the Avalanche Run over here, so it fits better in the mix later on. The next medium I chose is this cassette player. The warmth and crunchiness is another layer, a sound layer, that I really appreciate, and I recorded some string loops onto it. And last but not least, I needed a bass sound, and I chose the OP-1 for it. That's for the sounds I prepared. Let's make some noise.
I hope you enjoyed the performance. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And yeah, see ya.